like before i even start anything i want to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers you guys are the best thank you so much for subscribing thank you so much for watching for liking my videos for sharing my videos i really really appreciate it so yeah um i am back again with another video like hey i've been away because i've been kind of busy with something which i would share with you guys very soon okay okay so <laughs> today i would be um telling you guys this is this video is basically for people who want to you know go into the university for any course or even go to a medical school so i'll be telling you guys 10 things 10 things you should look out for before choosing a university or before choosing a medical university okay so let's dive into so guys um so first off when you're looking for a university i'm sure most of you already have a list of universities that you love to go to or you just want to just apply to any university that you find online but there are things that you should look out for that will guide you before applying or before deciding to you know go to that particular university of choice okay so the first thing to check is if the university is accredited this is very important i'm going to give you guys a background story okay i left high school or secondary school in 2013 and um i got admission that same 2013 to study medicine medicine has always been my choice okay and yeah i did not check if the university was accredited and so i wasted two years of my life in that school before they asked us to leave so i wouldn't want you to be like me going to a university and then you spend two years of your life for nothing okay so you have to check if your school is accredited i will put a link where you can check your school if your school if your medical school is being recognized by who if your school is recognized around the world okay i'll put the link in the description box once you check and your school is not in the list please do not apply to that school please do not go to that university okay this is very very important check the description box very important secondly you need to check if the city or the country you are going to is safe okay if you have to check the crime rate because you would be spending about four to six years of your life in that country and you know you have to be in a place that is very very safe for example i mean russia compared to what you see in movies russia is pretty safe that's what i can say okay <laughs> my city is safe we can be outside by 1 a.m and nothing would happen okay so you need to check the crime rates and to check how the security in that country or in that city is okay so the third one is you need to check for natural disasters you don't want to go to a country where there there have been um histories of tsunamis or earthquakes or landslide you don't want to just go to those countries that are prone or or are prone to these natural disasters or have been affected by natural disasters you get me number four you need to check for racial tension okay you need to check for um places that that have less racial tension or less racist in it okay the racial tension here in russia is not as high as some other places number five you need to check for past student testimonies like their what they have to say about the school okay for example you want to get a product 
okay you need to read the reviews about the products before you buy buy them right that's what i do before i buy something that i've never used before i like to check what other people have to say about this particular product so that should be the same thing you should do when you're looking out for a school that you want to apply to hear what people have to say about it go online check out the reviews check out the testimonies of this particular school okay the language of study if you're coming from an english speaking country then i don't think you should apply to a non-english speaking country except you can actually except you decide to learn a new language okay except you can um you decide okay that okay this is where i want to school but i don't think language should be a barrier i school in russia and i study in russian language i receive my lectures in russian language i answer my exam questions in russian language but you know i had to op i was open-minded to learn a new language okay so make sure that if you're going to apply to a non english speaking country you should have an open mind to learn that language okay number seven is um tuition fee i'm sure many of us already have um an estimate okay this is the amount my parents are can afford to send me to this particular school so you need to check out for schools that are paying less okay this is very important you don't want to go to a school where you'll be able to afford maybe the first year tuition fee and you won't be able to afford the subsequent years that you would be spending in that school so it's very important that you choose a school that your you can pay for for all the durations of your stay in that school so it's very important number eight is recreation okay if you had okay this one is for my people that love to ball you know that love to have fun that love to go for adventures you need to look out for cities that do have those things that you like okay because you don't want to go to a city where you'll be bored you'll not be able to do those things that you like and you know all those good stuff so make sure you go to a city that suits your lifestyle in essence yeah. number nine is location okay example russia okay i am in the west of russia in um, the western part of russia okay i do advise people not to apply to the northern part of russia because of how cold it is during winter okay and how hot it would be during summer but when it's cold in russia it's very cold and when it's very hot it's very hot so i basically i am in the west and the winter here is actually quite manageable you get talk more of where you are in the um northern part of russia so you need to check out for the location and also you need to check out for the cost of living in that city or country you need to check out for the cost of transportation you need to check out for the cost of food because i know you'll be going with a particular amount but these things the amount will not be able to sustain you for a month or two so you need to check out for all of this stuff. finally you need to check for duration okay if you're going to a medical school there are some medical schools that um um that are for five years okay and there are some that are for six years so if you want to you need to check out okay if you want the one of five years or you want the one of six years okay it's very important for you to check out these things okay for we in russia actually uh cost duration is six years okay why there are some and i think in the caribbean the courses are five years for medicine so you need to check this thing out okay i know for other courses are four years so people would not really mind but i'm talking about medical student if you don't want to spend six years in school there are countries that offer you 
um, a five years course in medicine. We have come to the end of this video and thank you guys once again for 100 subscribers this means a lot to me it shows that we are growing okay and i'm very sure that we will continue growing so i'll see you guys in my next video bye